So we're not gonna try and edit too much today because we have shot a million clips and thrown them away because they didn't feel good enough and I had all these grand plans and I realized now that I have really fallen back into depression and anxiety and like it's just been this snowballing nightmare that I want to logically know doesn't serve me but fuck man it's hard so we're gonna work through it we're gonna try a new thing which is having no thing which is my greatest fear having nothing doing nothing being nothing and like yesterday when I was like peak sad just lying in bed going like I knew there were these deadlines and there were these tasks that I wanted to do and these steps that I could take to improve my life and I was thinking okay yeah when can I do that when, when, when will I have time and I was, I was snowballing and I was like what if I take a day off and the thought of taking a day off made me feel sick it made me feel like oh but I can be using that oh sorry the lighting I was like I need to not worry about doing things so actively even if it works to my advantage for me to heal I need to work on actually resting, figuring out how to rest, both my body and my mind. Like all the yoga, all the exercise, everything and on the opposite spectrum of the junk food that I can eat to feel better. That's a list, that's a thing, that's a task. And I guess I'm gonna just try to be more chill, try a new thing, just do what comes out. Try not to follow too much of a plan or a script until I get better again. Because if I can't do one task, how am I going to plan for 10? Like, how am I going to do 10? Okay, so as much as I'm worrying about the lighting not being perfect and had this grand plan of like going through all the stuff that I was using for my face because you know me and my self-care attempts, I'm just going to like label what I'm doing, like the stuff I'm using on the bottom and we're just going to keep chatting. First, we are going to comb our hair, which we haven't done in months. So I'm using a tangle teaser and I'm just going to speed this up. Okay, close enough. Okay, so one of the things I want to talk about is how like just I need to start trying to do the small things and I hope that you do too. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to look for something and I can't find it. And I feel like everything is collapsing because one thing is going wrong. Which I know doesn't make sense. Um, sometimes. And I'm logically like, okay, yeah, but like you don't have to be that sad about one thing not working out. But in my head, it just swells like one of those little napkins at the restaurant. And I just can't get over it. I find it really Hot, so I'm just gonna try and like let it go because I wanted to show you guys the hair oil that I'm using. Oh, okay, I found it. Okay, but it was so easy in that moment. So I'm trying to do the stream of consciousness thing to just fall into a rut that goes like I don't know where this is. Oh, if one thing's wrong, my whole day is gonna be ruined. Um, everything I plan is going to shit. Like if you have depression or you or you kind of get what I'm saying, then I hope you stay with me and you stay here if you know what I'm saying. Um, and well, if you don't know what I'm saying, I'm just gonna say because we need to say more anyway. If you're thinking of like giving up on yourself and giving up on your life, try to stay with me. Let's get through this because I'm trying to get through this too and I hope I help someone out there. I am a veteran in depression and anxiety, ADHD and trauma and like I have cried and licked my wounds and like been angry and tried to forgive and tried to forget and tried not to forgive and tried not to forget and tried therapy and tried medication. But here we are, still depressed and still anxious. So maybe it's something intrinsic. Maybe it's gonna come in waves. Maybe when I'm 50, I won't give a fuck. I don't know. But you know, but you know, maybe maybe this comes through somehow. So I'm just gonna like mumble what I'm doing if I'm doing something or putting something on. And other than that, I'm gonna try and stop recording at the 10 minute mark to keep manageable how have you been like look in and like i know it sounds so hippy to be but you know i think there's there is some merit to kind of taking a moment of pause and, and raised in a really rushed hour of life and like when i was born i cannot remember a single time or day i was told to rest unless it was planned and objective for me to bounce back and heal to kick ass which i get but there was never just a get some rest full stop. it was always get some rest because and there is nothing wrong with that except it has never been because you need it because you need the rest to keep on keeping on it was it was rest because you can do this next thing to gain xp to level up or rest so that you can fight this to do that and i'm trying to be like just rest because you need fucking rest we'll see where it takes me I'm trying everything man i'm like burning sage we'll see you know we'll see if it works it works right like i live in the moment but also like consciously ah okay so um update on my life got married got, got engaged moved new little baby studio started a little 
candle studio, right? Because I kept choking on like scented candles when I was trying to heal from my super super sadness. I started making my own because I'm super asthmatic and I'm very into the smells of Bali and trees in Scandinavia and I'm just obsessed with food and drinks and mixology. So it was really just logical for me to just try it out. Did some of that. Uh, with my studio, I sold some pieces, which was cool. I had commissions. It's kind of what keeps me going, like happy. But then I got stressed out by logging my achievements to show my portfolio and that kind of ate me up more than worrying about doing the work itself and that kind of compounded and you know there's this whole like if you don't have your portfolio no one's gonna want to get more work from you or big pieces and then there's this whole like oh but it's hard to do the portfolio and then you're draining you don't have the energy to do the pieces with love it's a stupid fucking cycle sad at mcdonald's kfc junk etc very delicious should be in moderation but in that moment you're just like carb coma i'm out I gotta, I gotta take a nap, everything's slower. And then, why am I so slow? Why am I not doing this? Why am I not working up to my kind of speed? So, it's, it's a lot of diff, I don't wanna say patterns or behaviors, but hindsight 2020 kind of thing. It's just like, oh, if I ate McDonald's and I was sleepy, then I, of course I was sleepy. Sugar, you know, rice, so good. Of course I was sleepy. Of course I couldn't do work properly because I would get brain fog. And then, feel like shit because we base everything on the amount of things we can get done or have done and how well we've done progress right okay i'm trying to kind of change my strategy which is a very dangerous word to say because we're supposed to be not planning but you still gotta like have some structure which kind of helps me get out of this stuff i'm trying to just do what i find manageable and easy and even if it might not be the prettiest or the most i'm gonna do it like if it means watering my plants with my my water glass after eating because I remember, then I'm gonna do that. And I'm not gonna worry about my fucking watering can. But sometimes small things seem like really, really hard big things. And I'm learning to accept that that is not only valid, but also something to take note of and be okay with. I feel like that. I'm just gonna do this. Close enough. Close enough is what we're gonna hold on to until we are back in the clear. And if we're not, then we're just gonna keep trying. So, we have moisturized our face. We have, we have misted it with spring water. I got the kit, it hasn't broken my face out, I've been using it for a few weeks now so I have recommendations for it below and I've written down what I'm using. We're gonna figure this out together. I'm really happy and thankful that all of you have been staying, subscribed, watching and are commenting and saying I feel this way too. I think there's a lot of strength in empathy and I think there's a lot of strength in vulnerability and courage and that even also means just admitting that you need help or you need time and space and rest. We're gonna try our best. Time. It's 15 minutes, so I'm gonna go. Thank you for watching my video. Like, subscribe, and comment. And I hope to be back very, very soon. I'm gonna try and kind of change it all up and be okay with it. As usual, we're gonna see how that goes. Thank you for watching.